welcome to our Zoom pageant. Today's performance is called Zooming to Bethlehem. We are starting predictably with Act 1. Let me introduce the pageant players in Act 1. We have the innkeeper, the innkeeper's children, Leah and Aaron, as well as Mary, Joseph, and three guests at the end. Act 1 begins now. Aaron! Leah! Aaron! Leah! Leah, are you there? Where are my children? They always disappear when you need them. Hello? Can you hear me, Mom? I think you're muted. I, can't, I can hardly hear you. Oh, I was in the backyard. Now can you hear me? Finally. I've been looking for you and your sister, Erin. We have this whole inn to take care of, and we have visitors up to the ceiling. Why aren't you helping me? I just went to the well to get some extra water. There were lots of people lined up, so I had to wait my turn. Well, that's a good thing you went for water. With this crowd, you can't have too much water. I'm boiling water for the laundry right now. Excuse me, innkeeper, I need towels. Innkeeper, these candles are burnt down. Don't you have new ones? I thought I was getting a deluxe suite. You call this a view? My window faces an adobe wall. Yes, yes, and yes, that is the best view. I will be right with you. Leah, I have to run. No, Mom, wait. When I was at the well just now, I met such a nice couple. What were you doing wasting time chatting with who knows who when I needed you here? They looked to be in trouble. I just wanted to help. What kind of trouble? Well, the woman is expecting a baby, and she was holding her stomach and kind of groaning. Oh, that kind of trouble. I asked if I could help. I didn't recognize them, so I figured they're here for Caesar Augustus's census. I told you not to mention that man's name in this house. If he takes one more shekel in taxes, I'll- Okay, then Cornelius's census. He's the governor of Syria. Don't mention him either. No Roman politicians are to be named in this house. Okay, okay. What I'm trying to say is this woman, her name is Mary and her husband's Joseph. They've come all this way from Nazareth. That's a long way away, isn't it? And I think it's her time. You know, as in her time to have a baby, they asked me if I knew a place they could find a room. You didn't tell them we had a room, did you? You know we have no space. Well... Uh, hello? Leah, thanks for the good directions. We, we didn't have trouble finding you at in the inn at all. You must be Leah's mother. I'm Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. Thank you so much for saying we could come here, Leah. I, I really appreciate it so much. I, um, I, well, you're welcome. Leah, you didn't tell them? I think I might have. Now, Mr. Joseph, I am sorry to tell you that my daughter, Leah, has gotten a bit ahead of herself. We actually don't have any rooms left. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's her time. But I'm running out of time right now. Do you have any rooms at all? Oh my goodness. But we don't have any rooms at all. <sighs> We've tried everywhere. We really can't go any farther. Mom, what about the stable? Oh, Aaron, here you are. Aaron, this is Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph, this is my sister, Aaron. Aaron, is there a room in the stable for this couple to sleep tonight? They have nowhere else to go. <sighs> I just spent the morning cleaning the stable and there's nice fresh straw, but there are some animals there. That's no problem. We will take any shelter we can find, as long as we find it now. Where is the innkeeper? I need towels. And I need candles. I paid good money for my room. What about my view? Isn't there a better room I can have? I have to attend to these guests, Mary and Joseph. If you want the stable, you can have it. Aaron, you take them there. And Leah, I think you'd better take that boiling water to Mary. I guess the laundry will have to wait. Thank you so much. We were pretty worried about when we saw that no room in the end sign posted. You're so kind to take us in. Oh! Let's get going. It's just back here. It's getting dark, so watch your step. Did you see there's a really big star out tonight? Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Act two. In this scene, we check in on Mary and Joseph and their new stable accommodations. What will they have to say in this next installment of the pageant? And will we also meet their new animal friends? 
What wisdom will they shed on this special night? Act two begins now. I feel so sorry for you, Mary. If only Caesar hadn't called the census. We, we had no choice. Everyone had to go to the town their family came from. And it just so happens my family is from the house of the lineage of David, so we had to trek all the way to Bethlehem from Nazareth. I wish I could have gotten a real room. I never thought we would have stayed in stables with these animals. Ah. I was hoping to get home before the baby came. I guess now we'll go home with a baby. I just wish I had my mother to help for you right now. I'll go and see where that hot water is. We have to trust that God will work things out. I've been trusting God this whole time, except it's getting harder, not easier. We had to trust God when I got the message from the angel who said I would give birth to the son of the Most High. They said our baby would have the throne of our ancestor, David. A throne? Well, this isn't what I pictured. Could someone whose kingdom will never end be born in a barn? Is there some mistake here? I, I just don't get it. We both had a message from God. The angel appeared to you and then to me. They said that this child was going to be born of the Holy Spirit. Our baby will save people from their sins. Two angels, two messages. That is pretty clear. I know this isn't what we expected, but I'm sure God has not forgotten us. I trust our little baby Jesus is going to be special. Well, he's going to come special delivery pretty soon, Joseph. Can you go and get some water and towels and candles? I'll see if they have a better view as well. Uh, I guess we can't do anything about these noisy neighbors, but I think the view is fine. I can see that star through the window. It, it really is. Remarkable. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. This is the act where we meet the shepherds. Their names are Larry, Daryl, and other Daryl. We meet them as we we meet them as we were out watching their flocks by night just outside Bethlehem. Well, it's a nice night tonight. It's quite a sight. Twice as nice as any night. You're sounding like quite a poet, Daryl. Uh, other Daryl, you got to speak up. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Very distracted. I think it might rain soon. I see some clouds over there on the horizon right by that big bright star. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Those clouds look very unusual. They, they sort of, they look sort of golden. That star is starry. Starlight, star bright, first starry star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have this wish I wish tonight. Daryl, you're such a dreamer, but what would you wish for if you could have anything? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just that something different would happen. It's always the same, same old, same old here. Nothing new or exciting happens to shepherds. It's ba ba black sheep day in and day out. While you two Daryls have been talking, I have been watching the heavens, and definitely that cloud is getting closer. Uh, look at it. That is strange. I know I'm imagining it, but it looks like... Wait, what is that? The, the light, it's, it's too bright. Uh, 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 it's getting closer and closer. What is happening? I'm terrified. It's an angel, hit the dirt. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good, good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Uh, what did you say? Uh, did you say good news? 
I've been fishing for some good news. But until he was born to stay in the city of David, a savior who is who is Christ the Lord will be signed for you. We'll find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the manger. Did you say a manger? Lying in the manger as in lying in a trough for animal food? It doesn't make any sense. Wait, look. Suddenly a multitude of the heavenly host in the sky with the angel. Look, they're still calling to us. Glory to God, the highest and on earth, peace, good will be to all people. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, uh, Daryl, uh, that, that's because it's dark out. You, you just have to adjust your eyes. It's dark, but I'm starting to see the light. I've never seen an angel before. We've been giving some good news tonight. What do we do now? It's time to zoom to the city of David, Bethlehem, which is just, 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 just over that hill. Let's skedaddle right over there as fast as we can. And leave the sheep? Have you lost your marbles? Trust me on this. It's a perfectly calm night. Nothing's going to happen. And I think if God can send angels with a message, God can take care of a few sheep for a few hours. Are you saying the Lord is our shepherd? We shall not want. God makes me run through green pastures, I guess. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's zoom. I will fear no evil. It's time for act four. This is it, the big highlight of the pageant. The time has come for Mary to be delivered and for Jesus to be delivered. The shepherds, Larry, Daryl, and the other Daryl come for a visit. Act four begins now. This is ridiculous. We've been in practically every barn in Bethlehem and every manger we found only had animal feed in it. No babies at all. And some of these people haven't been cleaning their barns very well. Ah, what a stinky tour we've had. Maybe we should head back. This is some strange big mistake. I know. It's very disappointing. I thought we heard the message of the angels so clearly, but maybe we got it wrong. When they said born this day, maybe they mean as in this coming day. We can try again tomorrow night. Well, let's head home. It's this way. There's a big star again. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Look, right under that star is the inn. There seems to be a lot of light coming out of the barn windows. That innkeeper is going to be mad that they are burning so many candles at once. Why would they be using so many candles in the barn? Well, we've come this far. We'll just go see. Um, excuse, excuse us. Uh, may, may we come in? Boo. Uh, yes, you may come in. Who could it be at this time of night? Well, uh, you don't know us, but we know who you are. Uh, we know that we know that baby in your arms is a is a special gift from God. How can you possibly know about our, our little baby Jesus? We were just tending our sheep, and an angel appeared to unto us. And then there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to all people. And they told us that a savior was born tonight and that we would find him in Bethlehem and that he would be lying in a manger. And we've checked out a lot of mangers tonight and not one had a baby in it. And so we are here to worship the newborn king. 
I'm amazed that thanks so much for coming all this way to see our baby and tell us about the angel visitors. Oh, he is such a beautiful baby, a gift from God. Do you, do you mind if we just sit here and adore him for a while? Actually, it's been a long day for us, and it's rather late. We, we just want to get some sleep. I, I feel sort of sheepish telling you this since you came all this way. You're feeling sheepish. We're the ones who dropped in in the middle of the night. And speaking of sheepish, sheep are sheep. We have to be getting back to our flocks. I hope they are in sheep shape when we get there. Don't worry. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. I will fear no evil, for God is with the sheep. If God can send us a savior, God can watch our sheep. It was awfully nice of you to visit. It means a lot to us that you confirmed our stories from the angels. We know now that this story is bigger than just us. Our little baby Jesus is going to make a big difference in all of our lives. I think this might be bigger than we can imagine. Maybe as big as the whole world. That's a lot of big baggage for this one little baby to carry. And it's a big hike back. Come on, let's skedaddle back to the hills and our flocks. Surely goodness and mercy are following us. Act 5. This is the final act where you will get an epiphany, literally. The star of the pageant shows up and we will meet three wise men. Wise persons, Belsar, Melkor, and Casper as they encounter the innkeeper. Mary, Joseph, and the baby. The animals weigh in one more time. I should be sleeping. It's the middle of the night, but somehow I am too tired to sleep. My goodness, look at that star. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. What's that noise? It sounds like candles. Who could possibly be traveling this late? Hello. We are looking for the keeper of this inn. That's me. How can I help you? I am sorry to tell you that we are very full tonight. In fact, we are over full. We even have guests sleeping in the stable. You look like you have traveled a long way. Yes, we have been traveling for months. We are following the star and it led us here. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. We received a vision from God who told us a newborn king who would be born and that we should follow the sign of the star. We are searching for a newborn baby. You are looking for a newborn king? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but nobody important lives here. I can tell you that for sure. We're all just ordinary people. Right above us. Is there no newborn baby here? Well, as a matter of fact, there is a newborn baby, but we want to see the child right away. Where can we park our camels? Shall we put them in the stable? I don't think they'll fit in the stable because that's where the couple and the child are. Let me lead you to them. Mary, Joseph, oh, I'm glad you're still awake. I am sorry to visit so late, but you have some very important visitors. I am Balthazar. I am Melchior. I'm Casper. We have traveled far from the east following the sign of the star. We have come to see the newborn king. We have come to see this baby. What a beautiful child. He is sleeping so soundly, so sweetly. This child is born to be a king. Thank you for coming all this way and for your kind words. I need to ponder these words in my heart. How did you find us? How did you know our baby was going to be so special? And you came all this way just to see him? It was our joy, our pleasure. It was our mission ever since we received the sign. We have been traveling and now we come to share treasures with you. Ooh, what's in these packages? 
They are wrapped so beautifully. I want to save the wrapping paper. It's so lovely. You did a nice job wrapping these. Thank you. My mother taught me how to gift wrap. It's a real knack to, to it. Here, I just opened it already. Oh my, it's, it's gold. You, you've given us gold? Gold for the royal one. I don't know how we can accept. You must accept. These are for your baby. And in this box, is it? Is this frankincense? Yes, the very same. And this final present is myrrh. I'd know that fragrance anywhere. I hope you can find a use for it. I'm sure we will. Thank you for your presence and your blessings on our sweet baby boy. Thank you for letting us in. We know it's late. We will leave you now. May we stop in to see you tomorrow before we go? Why, certainly. We would be honored. We, we hope to be leaving ourselves in a few days. We want to return to our hometown in Nazareth. I can't wait to show the baby to my mother. She's going to love her new grandchild. She's going to think he's perfect. Wonderful. We have so much to be thankful for. Today has truly been an epiphany for us. We weren't expecting to find a baby in a manger, but God works in mysterious ways. That's the truth. But we can trust that God will be with us every day on every journey. Have a good sleep tonight. Well, whatever, whatever's left of tonight. It's practically morning. Pleasant dreams. I'm so tired. I can't imagine how tired you are, Mary. I can't wait to hit the hay. Move over, donkey. We have to let them have room to stretch out and sleep. Well, what an evening this has been. Have you ever seen anything quite like that? Bassinets made out of manger is quite remarkable. I like the reduce, re reuse, recycle vibe of this family. Very more with less of them. Do, 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 do. do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, a little lamb. A star, a star, that's me, shining in the night. A child, a child, shivers in the night. He will bring us goodness and light. He will bring us goodness and light. And so as sleep falls on the characters, so too, so too the curtains fall on our pageant. Thank you for watching, and with the words of the angels, we end our virtual Zoom pageant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to all people.